Well, you guys, why is your computer running slow? This is a very common problem, and a lot of people on the internet will tell you that to restart your computer or close browser tabs, open up Task Manager and check inside there to make sure your CPU or your hard drive isn't running at 100%. Also, check your memory is another thing they like to do. And also, basically, clear any sort of background apps that are running in the background. These are common things that people will tell you to do, like deleting temporary internet files and also uh, reducing startup programs on startup. Now, there's a lot more reasons than that that's causing your PC to run slow. As you can see here, I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to open up a bunch of tabs. Now, this is one of the things that people used to tell you that your PC can't handle this sort of tabs, and this is what's going to slow your PC down. But you can see how many tabs I've opened up on Google Chrome here. And again, my PC is running perfectly fine. There's no problems at all, and we have an absolute bucket load of tabs open, probably more than you're ever going to open up on your computer. So why is my PC still running smooth? Let's go to the task manager here and take a look at the memory. You can see there is 32 gigs of RAM on this system. Also, what's happening here is it is utilizing a bit of RAM. You can see by this graph that it's actually starting to use some of the RAM uh, up by opening up these tabs. Let's go ahead and open up another browser and open some more tabs to see whether we can make this system crash and whether we can exhaust our memory uh, on this system. And this is probably one of the things that people are going to tell you when you're surfing the web is to add more memory. And that is the case for a lot of PCs. If your PC is really old and it's running old hardware and you've got four gigs of RAM on that system and you're running a modern day operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11, you are going to struggle. You are going to see high CPU usage, probably high RAM usage and also maxing out on your RAM. And this is what's going to probably crash your PC or even, uh, you know, freeze up and things like that. You can see here on here we have utilization is still doing pretty well. And if you check the processes and look at the memory itself, we still have plenty of memory uh, left on the system to go. So it's not using all of my memory up just yet. So can we do anything else on this PC? Now, this is a modern day computer. It's not brand new. It's not the latest and greatest. It's actually a Ryzen uh, 3800X. And uh, it's still a pretty good CPU today. But I just wanted to show you that running an old system is probably most the most common cause of having a really slow computer. People still want to use a really old computer in the modern day. So let's go ahead and open up another browser and max out the amount of tabs that we can in there as well. And once we've done that, we're going to open up some more stuff to see whether we can exhaust this memory and make this PC uh, grind to a halt. And I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be able to because it is a pretty powerful PC, even in 2022. So I'm going to give you some reasons why I think that your PC is running slow. You can see we're recording the screen here. I've got Camtasia open. I've also got Discord open. We've got all of our browsers maxed out on tabs. And also, if you look at the memory here, we're still doing pretty okay for memory. Yes, it's got 32 gigs of RAM on here, which shows you that it is pretty overkill for most people. Uh, but if you add 16 gigs, you'll probably still be okay. Now, let's go and open up Photoshop and uh, give this a go. You can see it's pretty smooth still. There's no problem here. And you can still use Photoshop even with all those tabs open. So those people telling you uh, that you need to close tabs and things like that, in 2022, it's not so much of a problem unless you have something like a really old computer with only, say, two or four gigs of RAM, and you're trying to run a modern-day operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11 you are going to run into problems and you're going to see memory uh, running out on that PC. And that is probably one of the big problems that you're going to have. And that's why I would have that in my list as uh, RAM is running out on that computer quite a lot because you don't have enough in there to run uh, Windows. Also, if you're running onboard graphics, that's going to rob a piece of RAM from you uh, 
because it needs it to run the graphics. And again, this lowers the amount of RAM that you've got running for your system. And I can browse the internet here, even with all these tabs open, and I'm still not utilizing all of the RAM and all of the CPU and all of the disk here on this PC. It's still running perfectly fine. I can still cope with a, a good workload. I could even uh, stream a movie, a 4K uh, film here or video. There's no problem there. And this is um, uh, playing this uh, video pretty easily here. I can drag this along. You see no stuttering here, no jerkiness, and it's working perfectly fine. The second problem that you might run into, which I think is a really uh, big issue, which is hard drive is maxed out. Your hard drive is constantly running at 100%. And this is either a software or um, operating system issue or your hard drive is really old and you're using a mechanical hard drive and it's uh, having issues. Now, I could even open up a virtual machine here, even though I've maxed out all of the uh, tabs on multiple browsers here. Streaming a 4K uh, video here or playing a 4K video, I should say, and even uh, opening up Photoshop, I can still open, uh, you know, virtual a machine and play a virtual machine like Windows 10 or something like that. And it just goes to show you the power and processing power of these Ryzen processors and how a modern day computer with uh, plenty of RAM can handle all of these tasks. So this goes down to uh, the third thing, which is hardware failure. You have a piece of hardware on your system that is starting to fail and it's causing issues. Uh, again, it could be a bad drive. This is why the drive is maxing out. And you can see here it's starting to utilize the drive now and starting to utilize all of that memory because uh, virtual machines are using memory and it is starting to uh, use a lot of this memory. But it's still usable. You can still use this system uh, with no problems at all. And we've got an operating system loading up in the background in a virtual machine. Plus, we've got other things going on with this system. So we, the CPU now is at, uh, climbing a little bit. The disk is at 100%. And you can see this is because it's loading up uh, the uh, virtual machine here. But that should die down a little bit once it gets to the desktop. Memory is still coping, even though it's riz uh, quite a bit. Uh, so let's take a look and load a game up uh, and see whether we can load a game up. Also, for number four, I'm going to say that computer viruses and malware can cause a PC to slow up. And if you're using crack software and other things like that, maybe the system has now got virus on it and it is starting to tax the system a little bit. So you may want to check for malware and viruses. Another key problem is the computer is getting too hot. The CPU is getting too hot and starting to thermal throttle. Maybe your GPU is getting hot or it's uh, causing a uh, bottlenecks or throttling. And then maybe you've got other issues there, uh, like for instance, uh, dust in the computer and the temps are climbing up really high, and this can cause the PC to slow up big time. So always check for uh, temperatures on your CPU and other things like that. You can see we've got loads of stuff happening here. You can still use this virtual machine, no problems at all. We've got a game running here. We've got Photoshop open. We've got all those uh, browsers open with max tabs, and it's still functioning okay. You can see here we're at 71% here on the memory. And again, once you start closing these off, the memory will come back to you. But I just wanted to show you basically how a modern day computer can handle really loads of tasks like this. The CPU is still pretty low, but you can see the hard disk is grinding down at 100%. And that's because we're using a virtual machine on a mechanical uh, drive as well. Now, probably one of the most common problems is having a hold PC. It might be too old and it might be getting past its sell by date. Sometimes people just live in denial and they still want to keep using that PC because it works. Unfortunately, if you want to do more modern day tasks and you're trying to do really hardcore tasks like rendering videos out or opening up a bunch of different tabs, people multitask quite a lot. And if you can't, uh, do that comfortably on an old system, then it may be time to start thinking about upgrading, especially if your system has very low amounts of memory and you can't upgrade it anymore. And the CPU is getting on to, like, say, for instance, eight years old or more, and you're now struggling to open up Photoshop and other things like that because it takes forever. Then it may be time to think about upgrading to a new computer because new computers are not that expensive if you look for used parts. 
and you start looking for some of the older systems out there which you can now get at cheaper prices because Ryzen has got some very good processors even some of these ones like this one here the Ryzen uh, 3800X you can probably pick this up pretty reasonable uh, used and it's got eight cores on it and it should do pretty well in 2022 just like you can see here this does have 32 gigs of RAM so I mean 16 gigs I would say is ideal and it's probably now the uh, industry standard to have 16 gigs rather than 8 gigs. But a lot of people still rocking 8 gigabytes. And again, if you're finding your memory's running out, it may be time to add another stick of RAM just to give you that little bit of breathing space. So when you're opening up loads of different apps, it's not going to grind the system to a halt. Other than that, let me know in the comment section below what sort of system you've got, and whether your system is slow or it's struggling. And I'll be interested to see what sort of system specs that you guys use in 2022. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this information has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again in another video or in my Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.